we're going to make some cough syrup. This is a chunk of Ella Campaign root that I dug out of my garden um, like an hour ago. I've got some reishi mushroom that I had foraged last year, some uh, ginger that I grew organically myself, rose hips here, a little bit of licorice root. I did have to buy that because mine didn't do very well. And I've got some elderberries. So starting with that, let's see how far we get. The Ella Campaign root is um, surprisingly aromatic. Uh, this is just a little chunk. I actually dug quite a big chunk out and I, um, I tinctured a bunch of it. So that's good. This is just, you know, fresh Ella Campaign. It, it actually grows pretty easily, honestly. I'm in zone six, if that matters to you, but um, the Ella Campaign grows pretty easily. The thing is you gotta let it grow for like um, two or three seasons before the root gets big enough to um, be worth harvesting, you know what I mean? I've got my little glass pot over here going on. So uh, I'm gonna put things in the glass pot and I will move that. The heat is on low. I'm just gonna add a couple of pieces of reishi because you know, reishi is awesome for boosting your immune system. It's not gonna make it um, that bitter, honestly, especially once I add the licorice. So we've got some uh, rose hips. Some of these I foraged, some of them I grew here, but rose hips are insanely high in vitamin C. So this is like big time boost to uh, your immune system here. Plus, you know, it'll be nice for the flavor. Uh, and what else have we got? Ginger. We always want to throw some ginger in our syrup. This is just, um, I just started, you know, it's a little like what, maybe not even two quart, like a quart and a half uh, glass pot. I'm gonna add, I've got the pot on low, like a low simmer. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of elderberries and one teaspoon of licorice root. Be careful with licorice root. It's very sweet, but that's not why you gotta be careful because um, it, licorice root can be bad for people with like heart conditions or liver failure or some, things like that. Basically, before you start um, taking anything with licorice root on a regular basis, you want to uh, look up and see if it's gonna mess with you or any condition or medication that you are currently on, okay? Um, I don't have any issues with it, and because this is just like a cough syrup that I intend to use for, you know, when I get sick or my son gets sick or whatever, you know, um, it's it's not going to be a big deal for me to have this much licorice root. I, I personally probably could drink this whole damn thing, um, but this is the part where, you know, the, the, like I said, the heat's on low. I'm going to simmer this for probably a good hour at least, and um, then we'll see where we're at. This has been going for a little while, and I just realized that I had a brain fart, and I didn't put any cherry bark in it. Wild black cherry bark is amazing for cough syrup. Heck, wild black cherry bark is where cough syrup came from. That whole, it's a spoonful of sugar, that song. The reason people used to hate cough syrup is because it tasted like wild black cherry bark. <laughs> and I just happened to harvest a crap load of it not that long ago, so here better if you can get it fresh, but you know, I'd rather have it than not, um, not have it at all. Wild black cherry bark. That's going to, I'm going to have to let that simmer for a little longer because it's been going for like an hour and I was like, oh crap. But yeah, that's going to go for a little longer. All right. I turned the burner off and now that it's just really hot and sitting here, I'm going to take some mullein leaf that I've got dried because it, mullein leaf is good for coughing, but, um, it, you can't boil it. Like everything else in here was good for a decoction. This is more like a tea, okay? Infusion versus decoction. Decoction is, is when you boil it. Infusion is when you're just soaking it, all right? So, I know you're not supposed to use metal, blah, 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 blah. There's that. I'm just gonna let this sit for a little while with the mullein leaf and then I'll come back and I'll strain it in a little bit. All right, we're straining this now. It's been sitting for a while. Carefully, slowly. Oh boy. You can press it down if you want. Squeeze everything out of it. Squeeze. 
squeeze, squeeze. Now, I'm gonna throw this in the compost. Rinsing out the pan real quick. Now it looks like two cups, just over two cups. So I'm gonna put that back in the pan. Pot, right, whatever. And this looks to me to be a little over a cup of honey. And since we've got about a little, like two and a quarter cups of, of the uh, syrupy mix, I'm just gonna call it, I'm gonna dump most of that in. I'm not gonna worry too much about it because I think that's plenty, honestly, to make it sweet. And plus, you know, I know this is raw honey and I get that I am uh, negating the properties of the raw honey again. However, I just want to heat it up just enough to incorporate that honey in there, okay? Basically, I'm just warming it up enough to make sure that the honey is dissolved. This is ready to go now. I'm gonna pour that into this, this uh, glass jar, swing top jar. However, I am also going to add a little bit of um, brandy, about a quarter to a third of a cup. I'm just gonna stir that in there. So it helps preserve it, it helps add a little bit of a nip to the cough syrup. It's not gonna hurt you, it's not gonna hurt your kids, just a little bit. It makes it taste a little better too. And that's it. That is enough cough syrup to last me and my family probably actually honestly like a year <laughs> this will definitely last the winter and i'm going to put it in the refrigerator it's going to be refrigerated but um it tastes amazing it's a powerhouse of cough relief sneezing relief and immune boosting function it's just amazing and i mean you don't have to do exactly all these same herbs as me you can kind of add and take away whatever you have available but that's just my process